Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is JR Lux. If you haven't already done so, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, yo, so as usual, yo, thank you to everybody that's been donating. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like what I'm doing and would like to support the channel, my cash app is dollar sign JR Lux. That's dollar sign JR Lux. Um, thank you. Yo, so today I'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of Aries. So right off the back, Aries, yo, um, and this has been this has been going on for the collective also, yo. I feel like yo, it's been major distractions, yo, because this happened when I I think when I just recently did the Pisces reading, I was dealing with distractions as well, right? And um, Aries, I feel like you're dealing with the same thing, right? Because so I I initially meant to upload this video, um, uh, shit about ten o'clock this morning, right? But uh, our landscaping people come and they normally come in like, hey, they came right when I'm trying to do it. And for whatever reason, they 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 literally stayed like near my apartment and just blow for like an hour. So, I'm, I, yo, I tried to work, work my way through it, but, yo, I, I began to get frustrated. So I'm like, yo, you know what? Shit, I'll, I'll just do it later. Right. So I left, came back. It was quiet. I'm like, OK, now it's time to get done. As soon as I start to do it now, I get people that come to the soccer field right out there. And now they, it's like the same thing all over again in different time zones. So I said that to say there's distractions, but I, I know what these distractions are for, Aries, right? So Aries, your message, your, 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 your reading is going to be called No More Mr. Nice Guy, right? Um, your channel song is No More Mr. Nice Guy by Alice Cooper, right? So back to the distractions. I feel like people know however you however they seen you that's not you anymore and however you seen them that uh you don't see them that way anymore so i said it to say people know you're not fucking with them no more like it's over with people you know they know you know exactly who they are and they know you're the real deal and like it's like you walk up to who you are right and you see that these people are, are nowhere on your level right so this is where these distractions coming from people know you are about to leave them in the dust right so they doing any and everything to get your attention and cause distractions right again this goes back to some people would be rather would rather just have the the satisfaction of knowing they getting your attention by feeling or or making it seem like you got a problem with them even if they creating a problem for you just to feel like you're not ignoring them. Some people are, would rather have you be in beef with them to 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 just completely ignore them and show how insignificant they are, right? So I feel like you got distractions coming. People from way back when that you used to mess with are gonna start popping back up, trying to trying to trying to distract you and shit like that. No, um, keep doing it how you've been doing it because I'm also feeling like yo the people who are if people start coming back around. Yo, um, and you last left off with a, a, a bad memory of them or something yeah, something happened which led to y'all falling out. Yo, they going through something right now. They going through some kind of shit, yo, and, and they retracing their steps and realizing the shit got bad when they started doing crazy shit to you. So now when they come back around, they're not coming back around to, because they miss you per se. They're morally coming back around to see if you're in a fucked up situation as them, right? They coming to see, coming to, that's actually like intel to see well, shit bad for me, so let me see if shit bad for you. Nah, we good over here. So nah, uh, back to those distractions, yo. Keep them motherfuckers. If they come back, nah, no new friends, yo. Uh, peace, love, and soul train. But I, I, yo, I wish you well from way over here, right now, because again, they going through something. And again, the Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with non-believers. And that's not saying essentially believers of, of, of that denomination. Essentially, if we own two different things, right, we ain't got no business rocking. So. I can pick up your energy. It also says don't don't make friends with a hot tempered man unless you pick up his way. So this goes back to karma and people got bad shit on them. Yo, don't let them motherfuckers come back around and start hanging out with you, yo. And you and you picking up their energy and the shit got going on. You wondering why shit start breaking out the blue and the car got problems and and yo, you going through financial truck. No, fuck that. You picking up somebody else's energy. Just like they retracing their steps and saying, yo, where did this ship come from? The ship came from when they tried to school you or did some bullshit to you. That's where the ship come from. So now they coming back around to see if A, they can get back in your good graces. B, see if you cool, see if you if, if you going, if you doing bad. And if you're not doing bad, why else not to get back in your good graces? Hoping they can pick up some of this energy from you and give them some of your uh, they badass energy. No, fuck that. Yo, we good. Keep it over there, yo. 
So those are the distractions. So your downloads are place too much value or credit on people too early on and they use that against you. Like you give you people use the confidence they get from you that, that you build them up and they use it against you, right? So Matilda taught to be nice and people please, but not for your benefit. Um, you have all the power, you'll be fine. Um, taught to be nice and tone it down, being nice out of keeping the peace, raised on a lack mindset and validating yourself at the expense of others. They're actually afraid of you. Passive, aggressive, repressed anger, blow ups, attachment issues, codependency, waiting to be accepted by people who mistreated you, um, Stockholm syndrome, abandonment issues, adopting people, your attention matters. You never needed them, they needed you. Value doesn't change because you don't know it's worth. Cinderella was still Cinderella in rags, going along to get along, over-sexualized, hyper-sexualized, the preacher's daughter, image, contempt makes you sick. It, 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 it affects your immune system. So your, it affects your immune system. Um, your support system was in competition with you. Stay away from contemptuous people because it makes them feel important to treat you bad and finally get somebody else to do it. So I need somebody to say to me in the comment section, get somebody else to do it. I'm straight, get somebody else to do it, right? So Aries, I feel like you're done being nice to people, right? I feel like you were taught to be nice and, and, and people please, not to not not for the, the reason of being nice and people pleasing. You were taught this to keep you in check, right? Uh, people know yo that it, it, yo. I feel like like you were uh, like you were under a spell or or a mindset like body dysmorphia, but like whole image dysmorphia, right? Uh, whoever you were raised by or whatever situation or environment you grew up in, I felt like people convinced you you were the ugly duckling, right? And 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 they were and, or convict you. You were the ugly duckling, and they were the swans. In all actuality, you've been the swans the whole time. They were the ugly ducklings who never hatched because, as far as they was concerned, the ugly duckling hatched into a, a a swan. They never hatched, right? So these are also older people you've been around with, um, family, friends, whatever the case may be. They've never hatched and seen you a swan, so you don't have to hatch. You, you don't excuse me. You don't have to hatch. You just have to grow. So these people seen that and convinced you, you were the ugly duckling and they were the swans, right? So they, you were taught to be nice, to go along, to get along, to make people feel comfortable and, and, and secure around being around you because whatever it is about you, how you look, how you dress, how you talk, whatever the case may be, you make people feel really insecure and triggered, right? Even as a child, right? Again, this goes back to uh, the people who were supporting, who were supposed to be supporting you and raising you, yo, they were in competition with you. So you had competition, you had people in secret competitions that with you from family and friends and people that you trusted as advisors and guardians, right? Secretly in competition with you, sabotaging you, right? I also feel like you was raised on a lack mindset, being that you didn't have a lot, you probably didn't have a lot growing up. So you were also taught to people please as, as if to see, well, if I don't have nothing, at least I'm not worthless or useless, right? So you, you 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 invalidate yourself at the expense of others. You made yourself shrink to make other, others feel big in, in, in your presence. Yo, that ain't got a motherfucking thing to do with you. What's Cat Williams say? It's self-esteem, esteem of your motherfucking self, right? Motherfucker need to pick up a book or whatever the case may be. If whatever about you makes them look at their demons and feel some kind of way that has nothing to do with you. So I feel like you represent a healed version of them that they will they would like to be or attain to and don't know how to get to. So what they just do is just try to talk shit and pop shit about you, right? I feel like you were raised to be codependent and you have attachment issues because the way people treated you, you might have been you might you you right, you might be you might have been in an area where it wasn't nobody on nothing, right? But you, right? And they seen you were on something Right, so they shit on anything you were trying to do, but in turn went and tried to do the exact very thing you were trying to do, and you want to feel accepted by these people, right? So you you people pleasing and this that and the third, right? Because they made you feel like it was just them again. The first, I feel like this has to do with family again, where you were raised, because 
the first community is a household. So you were made to feel like this in a household. So all of that stuff is taught at home, right? But in all actuality, you were the best one out of whatever the situation was. You were always the best. You were always top notch, right? I feel like, so people, this goes back to people feel like important for treating you like shit. That's because they know you are somebody, right? Everybody refers to you or sees you as this God or as this picture perfect person, despite whatever it is that you've been through. They see you as the one. So people feel like that you cool with them, that they can treat you like shit to make them feel like, well, they, yo, y'all think this person is this and the third? Well, I treat them like this, right? So you, you have, you the one with the actual power. Once you stop paying attention to these people, again, this goes back to waking up and saying, hold on. Right, like Matilda, she had all the power, um, and she started using what she or her powers against these people, right? You know, so in all actuality, right, I feel like yo, whatever gifts or talents you have, right, people know that your gifts are starting to show your talents, right? And you starting to realize, like, hold on, I'm the shit, y'all ain't shit, y'all ain't shit, whoever these people may be, respectively, and you know, whatever it is they're doing, I'm starting to feel like, wait, I've been. You, you, Y'all been so cool and nice for so long and realizing not only do these people have nothing going and they've been shitting on you, it's like, hey, I'm I'm the one that should be doing all the shitting around here. So I feel like you like, hey, you know what? Whatever villain story y'all attached to me, fuck it. I'm with all of that. Um uh, whatever it is, however you think, y'all, yo, fuck it. I feel like, yo, you are comfortable with however people feel about you. And not only that, yo, kiss my ass. You ain't no more being cool, right? That old, right? The old you, that shit didn't went away. You ain't buying that shit, Aries. I feel like, yo, they, they, yo, you have been pushed to the to the level of you got me fucked up in this, right? They again, this goes back to the passive aggressive, repressed anger and blow ups. You might have used to been dealing with shit, um, and taking it all in instead of dealing with the actual problem, which led to blow ups and 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 overreacting to situations when all actuality, some of these situations are built up. So I feel like, yo, you could have started addressing shit. If you haven't already done, you could have started addressing shit exactly right when you feel like you could have be whatever it is. No, no more. Again, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I ain't waiting to be accepted by people who mistreated me. Fuck y'all. Um, and with adopting people, I feel like you probably grew up with a whole bunch of uh, play brothers, play sisters, play cousins, people that you adopted who, who fit the ideal of that relationship you would have liked to have, but didn't, right? So uh, as far as Stockholm Syndrome, right? Um, I also feel like to a, to an extent, you feel bad for talking about the people who, who, who have wronged you or did you wrong because you might feel like you gossip and whatever the case may be, like, like holding on to memories of people who really don't give a shit about you and showed you in, in too many ways to, 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 to remember. Um, you never needed them. They needed you again. I feel like once you remove yourself from the situation, um, people start going through shit. This goes back to motherfuckers popping up, trying to see what's going on and trying to get back cool with you. Because once they see that you ain't doing bad, they realize it was them and they want to do an energy transfer. No, nah, fuck that. Stay over there. Get somebody else to do it. Right. Say, tell, tell somebody, I need somebody in the comments to say, yo, I'm not, nah, I'm done doing this. I'm done doing favors. Get somebody else to do it. I'm done. Well, whatever it is you need, no, y'all, I've been cool and y'all been treating me like shit. Motherfuck you, kiss my nuts. Get somebody else to do it. Excuse my language, but no, we no more Mr. Nice Guy. Get somebody else to do it, right? Right? You, you've you been the factor in every situation you've been. It's like you've never seen yourself work. And again, you make people better. This goes back to you building people up with the confidence. Something about your words, your language, just the attention coming from you, your attention matters. You make people feel validated. And what do they do? They take that validation that you give them and go around other people and say, hey, I'm better than this person. In all actuality, before they left you, yo, they they yo, they had no 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 personality, no, 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 no gall. They they didn't feel they said they was right. Like you literally built somebody up and they take that confidence and go shit on you. Like you can't take that confidence back, right? So I need everybody uh on the count of three to say to say to me, say with me. I call on my energy and power back. One, two, three. I call on my energy and power back. I call on my energy and power back. I call on my energy and power back. Because again, you were the one with the power, right? So they living off your energy. Once you remove yourself, yo, it's Mayday. It's Mayday. You go blossom elsewhere. Wherever you go, you're going to blossom, right? So no more Mr. Nice Guy. Fuck all of that shit, right? Again, the value of $100 don't change. 
because you don't know it's a hundred dollars, right? Um, uh, I had an associate of mine saying you can give a kid uh, the newest iPhone, and ain't gonna baby, and ain't gonna do nothing but rattle it around and bang it up and shake it, but it still doesn't not make it an iPhone. Somebody else was like, oh shit, this is an iPhone. So people didn't see your value. Or I feel like they've always seen your value. You didn't see you were the iPhone in the case. You didn't see that, right? So I feel like you waking up to seeing who you are and it's like, man, off with their heads, right? Off with their heads. Get somebody else to do it. Somebody say in the comments, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Get somebody else to do it. Oh, amen. Okay, so Aries. As usual, I've already said the cards, right? So your oracle message is the oracle message Aries right I feel like people gave you a handbook of life that they don't even live by a word in it they use, use that handbook of life papers that they give to you and smoke out of them uh, figuratively speaking I feel like you learned this motherfucker front and back in the cold curriculum and, and, and really tried to live like this and these people shit, shit, on, shit it on you for that right I feel like yeah again you finished the curriculum you realize it all was a lie, and now they mad about that, right? Feel like you need to stay away from these people, right? Again, contempt makes you sick, literally. Right? It's like being with a nagging wife or a nagging husband, right? Contempt is disrespect, yo. It's extreme disgust, disregard, right? Right? That shit will kill you. You probably, you know, and another thing is, you might have only grown and, and flourished and blossomed away from these people, right? These people were literally killing you, right? Contempt affects your immune system, right? Get somebody else to do it. Fuck that. No, nah, I'm cool. No, nah. no more Mr. Nice Guy. I didn't say you can't be nice. You have to choose who you're being nice to. It's okay to be a good guy, but being nice and overextending yourself and people, yeah, fuck all of that, bro. No, nah, you can have that shit, no. Nah. Right? Fuck that. I feel you, Aries, right? I should be the one doing the shitting around here, right? But I, I, I ain't on that type of time. But that's what I'm saying, Aries. I feel like you just like, fuck them. And now they want to get, now they want your attention, right? Because they recognize you recognize. Nah, we good. <laughs> Let me calm down. Yeah, I'm, I, I feel it too, Aries. Nah, for y'all, nah. Well, Boosie say we set this bitch off, right? Aries, they don't know you a fire sign. Again, you burn the whole house down, right? I can warm us up or set or or, or cook us all in this motherfucker, right? <laughs> so Aries, your oracle message is pray. Stalked, watched, invaded. Four, but the three, 13, 31 adds up to four. So again, I feel like, yo, you're protected, by the way, first and foremost. But again, this, this goes back to say, yo, I feel like Yo, you got people from way back when watching you because, again, this goes back to what I was saying, yo, as far as distractions and shit, there's a skeleton behind, right? So, to me, skeleton signifies, at least in this, on, on this card, skeleton would signify the past, somebody that passed, right? So, you got somebody watching you, stalking you. Uh, like, again, I, I, motherfuckers just, people are watching you. If you got social media, whatever the case is be, uh, whatever you're doing, you're protected, but... People are just watching you, right? Your past. People, your skeletons in the closet. Yo, people are watching you. Pissed. They're watching you. Pissed, right? You got people. I feel like they're jealous of you too. For whatever it is you're doing, it's like, how could they be doing well without me? Don't you see her face, right? I feel like, yeah, you got you got the 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 the, uh, uh, the energy of of the 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 page of swords in reverse. So people just. They can't come out. They can't. They don't know how to say anything to you, so they just sit back and watch. Like on some weirdo shit. I just heard on some weirdo shit, yo. So you being watched, right? You being you being studied. People are watching your moves. They watching what you're doing, right? Don't watch me. Watch TV, right? You might be on TV or doing some. You know, um, you could have a YouTube channel also or, or some kind of public performer. I feel like people are just watching. Look at her face. And she, yeah, and I said they were jealous. Their, their eyes are green, envious, right? So whatever it is, I feel like you, whatever you're doing, you look good doing what you're doing, right? To the point to, again, people be like, yo, they think they somebody, how could they? Or, or if you left them in, yo, these people you left in the past, so they, and you, and you popping, they, they, who they think, who, who you think you are, whatever the case may be. Yeah, awesome. Just watching shit, don't know how to say nothing else. 
Okay, let's get some energy for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Uh, can we get some tarot for Aries, please? Get a card for your current energy, Aries. Get a current card for your energy, Aries. Get somebody else to do it. No, I can't watch that. No, none of that, bro. No, no more favors, bro. Fuck that. Oh, so we got a jumper, Queen of Pentacles, Aries. I feel like, yo, you finna come up, right? Contracts, big business. Uh, you sit here, you are sitting pretty. Somebody could be coming in with a big offer for you. This is a Queen of Pentacles. This is a big stable offer, right? This could also be like, um, somebody could be wanting to start a real live foundation with you, or this is you uh watching your money or something you've been putting time and effort into it. This is blossoming. This, this this is almost at its peak, right? You you're starting to see dividends of something that you're doing, right? Uh, again, you're you're growing. The queen, the queen of Pentacles represents somebody who takes care of everything. You're taking care of the home. She's beautiful. She takes care of herself, right? So I feel like somebody feels like you're the ideal mother or the ideal father or the ideal mate, right? You you you, you handle you handle business at home, business at work, right? I feel like I believe. Um, the pinnacles are all the signs put together. You can do a little bit of everything. So I feel like, again, you got shit on lock here. And somebody wants to come in with an offer, right? With this queen of pinnacles. Hey, <laughs> I, I see. I, I see like somebody saying, hey, uh, I, I'll spend some change. I'm like, what, yo, uh, how much? I, I see like somebody bidding. Ain't, yo, that's crazy. People might be bidding on you without you even knowing, right? Because I, I just got the image of, you know, when people sit there in bed, she looks like she's bidding, right? So, right, this could be also, you going, are you going to an auction? Are you going to buy a car? You might be getting a new car or going to, uh, this could also be you going, buying home shopping or going, looking for a new place, right? You got, this is you coming into a, a, a lot of money, right? This is you being stable, very stable. This is, right, like you on your own and growing and doing your thing, right? What are you building on a place, building on a property? Uh, getting a new whip, right? Uh, like your money, right? You buying something, right? <laughs> you buying something and you got the money to buy it, amen, right? Okay. So let's get some clarifying energy with that. Yo, I like that. Pray. So people watch, people just watching you boss up, right? People are sitting back watching you boss up, right? Whatever you doing, you manifesting, right? Yo, it's harvest time, right? Queen of Pentacles, money coming in, right? Yo, you sitting there on your throne, lovely. Look, so again, look at your mate. You might be somebody's ideal mate. Yo, and this is clarified with the chariot card in reverse, right? So I feel like somebody don't know, somebody doesn't know how to come towards you. Again, I told you, people, you got people who want to come towards you, right? That don't know how to come towards you, right? With this chariot card in the reverse, yo, we got the Queen of Pentacles. In the upright with the chariot in reverse again this could be somebody who wants to come in with an offer uh, a life changing offer too as well as well because the chariot represents moving forward in a big direction right especially with the um it's a major arcana so i feel like yo you got people wanting to come in but they they, they don't they don't know how to come in they don't know how to come in yet with this offer also um these are also people in the past, right? Stuck in the past, right? They can't get out of the past, right? Whoever the, if this goes back to with the Oracle message, you got people from the past just stuck in, in whatever space, or what, they, they haven't moved on from that, right? You, and here you are, yo, you blossoming. People are stuck, right? And there's no movement, no progress, no forward movement on their behalf, right? And here you are blossoming and glowing and they just sitting there stuck, right? They could have lost their car also. The chair represents the car, right? Hey, get somebody else to do it. Shit, somebody say to me in the comments, get somebody else to do it. Hey, shit, fuck you. Y'all excuse my language, but I completely understand, y'all. Yo. Y'all, yo, so Aries, your moving forward card is, what do you need to know moving forward? I have a word of advice. Yo, I see the sun card, so again, I already feel like shit's going your way. They're trying to keep the sun down. You can't keep the sun down. I don't care what happened. Earthquake, whatever the case may be, that motherfucker will be there the next day. Right, so, uh, and however the sun comes out in the deck, yo, it's your way. So I feel like, yo, it's only a matter of time for shit goes exactly how you want it to go with that split deck card, right? Okay. 
Get somebody else to do it. Somebody say, get somebody else to do it. I'm straight. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Right? I'll be kind and respectful and open, hold the door and say, excuse me and shit like that. Oh, but anything other than that? Nah, get somebody else to do it. Right? So your car moving forward, Aries, is not a source. Uh, handle your business. This is somebody taking care of business. Be about your paper. Yo, make sure if, if you got to sign contracts, I feel like somebody's coming in to talk to you, right? Somebody has an important message to say to you. If you got to sign contracts, make sure you, you read over everything. The Knight of Swords represents somebody who's smart. They come in getting shit on top, getting taken care of shit, handling their business. So, yo, carry the fuck on. Be about your paper. I just heard from E40. Be about your paper. Stay on top of handling your business. No, you're doing what you're doing, right? You're handling how, exactly how you should be, right? Knight of Swords, right? This is taking major action, right? This get big contracts, big, big, big paperwork, right? Whatever this is, yo, somebody needs to talk to you. Look forward to somebody coming in saying, hey, I gotta holler at you, yo, when it is upright, yo, it's to your it's to your benefit. So look forward to that, yo. And with that being said, yo, I wish you all well. Um, hopefully I'll post again before Christmas, but if I don't, Merry Christmas. Uh, copy Kwanzaa. Police, not we die. Peace, love, and soul. Train, I'll see y'all next time. Be blessed.